Hey y'all, real quick before the video starts, if you enjoy, please like, if you're coming back on the regular, please subscribe, and feel free to comment. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in a sec. Hello everybody, welcome to another reaction video. So, this is a reaction, as you can see up to the top, uh, to the Age of Sigmar lore. Uh, part 1, a story introduction by Kitetsu. Um, so, this is something I've been interested in. I've been interested in the Age of Sigmar stuff, because everyone talks about Warhammer 40k, and... Not a lot of people know that there is a whole fantasy section, and I know nothing about the fantasy. I know that there's rats, and I know that it has three Total War games, and one of which I enjoy playing the dwarves. Um, but I don't understand... I, I know nothing of the lore. Um, I know age... kind of what led up to Age of Sigmar, because people joke about it, but that's about it. So, we're going to be reacting to this video by Kitetsu um shout out to them if you want to follow them i'll put the video link there's a this is what we're going to be reacting to oh i guess you can't see it behind me uh there's a playlist of it um of the series that he's made so you can go watch that on your own time this was uploaded looks like about five years ago um because the two is obviously a bit bigger <laughs> nowadays um i tried to find out a way to reach out to him and see if i could ask them questions stuff but i couldn't figure out how to get in touch with them so it's a little bit unfortunate um but it is what it is maybe they'll see this and comment or something but yeah um i hope you enjoy and i do want to say right off the bat i know that there's the whole um issue with streamer or like the whole debate with streamers reacting to youtube content um and not talking as much and i'm new to the reaction thing um my first ever reaction one was the astartes that went up not that long ago which we all seem to enjoy so hopefully this is something interesting uh or like something i can talk to talk about and i can help make it change it enough you know um i'm open to tips and i've rambled on for much too long let's get into the video hello everyone hello my name is kitetsu i could too to my channel so i've Thank been you. really excited to make this video for literally ages i love Man. the lore of age of six for 18 is a 6k video <laughs> introduction to it for people who are either new to I'm 3k my bad. or who've kind of just been into the models and the game 3k 3k they kind of still have this little part i'm a little jealous in the whole storyline <laughs> not that big though i personally am by no means an expert on the law i'm kind of still working my way through the book so this video is kind of um more of like an overview of um the whole premise you know the set which is what we need that's what we want thing who the major characters are and just basically a background of um, like how things just kicked off in Age of Sigmar. So, without very further interesting. Ado, I love the models too. Let's begin. Okay. Way cool back art. In the depths of prehistory, an unfathomably long time ago, mm -hmm. before even the Age of Myth, there was once a world. A world inhabited by men, elves, dwarves. And all manner of strange creatures. Sounds like normal this fantasy so far. Land in which Sigmar Heldenhammer arose. Sigmar the Heldenhammer. The realms is truly ancient beyond compare. Legend tells us he was once a mere mortal, born in the last millennia of this archaic, ill-fated world. Even okay. On the Interesting so birth, far. He was marked as special. By the sight of a twin-tailed comet streaking its way across the sky. As a mortal, he became the Emperor of Mankind. A ruler both wise... Emperor of Mankind, huh? Doesn't sound like anyone we know of, huh? 
Um, let's continue. Is and powerful, committed to stemming the tides of chaos that sought to corrupt his kingdom. Do people know about chaos in Sigmar? In the Age of Sigmar? Instead of being kept in the dark about it? The truth behind Sigmar's last mortal breaths are shrouded in mystery. All that is known is that one day he disappeared for many years, only to return a changed soul, no longer shackled to the constraints of mortality. Oh, so Sigmar he became a god. Had ascended, taking on the mantle of godhood. I wonder if they're going to do that with the Emperor of Mankind. I am curious. Um, Big E, because we don't know his name. And obviously this is the age of Sigmar, so I wonder if this is all because he became a god. Oh, I guess I should stop pausing, huh? <laughs> Yet where there is light, so too there is darkness. Of course. And the gods of chaos have chosen their own champion to bring ruin to the world. An evil presence who left nothing but death and destruction in his wake. Setting the skies ablaze What's in the his name? quest to tear the world apart. Leading these campaigns was Archeon the Ever Chosen, known as the Three Eyed King, an abhorrent champion of chaos. Looks kind of cool. Even the Hello? mighty power of Sigmar could not save the world that was, as it's. Okay. These look like Necrons. I don't know what these would be. These also look like Necrons. These all look like Necrons, but they're like skeletal. That's kind of cool. Um, Archeon, huh? Soon became enveloped in a series of terrible wars that none could escape, uh -huh. heralding the beginning of the end. The, end the dark gods had seen their opportunity to wrestle the power from each kingdom, and one by one, they fell. Sigmar's last stand failed, and Chaos corrupted the planet until nothing remained but its burning core. Oh, so Chaos won. Hurtling through space. None of its inhabitants were left alive, save Sigmar. Broken and lost to despair, clinging barely alive to the molten surface of his former home. The Chaos Gods failed to realize that Sigmar lived and they abandoned the planet as it hurtled through space for an age. The greater universe in Age of Sigmar is populated by enormous and powerful drakes, some big enough to be mistaken for stars. And it was one such drake oh, yeah. named Dracothian who discovered Sigmar hurtling through space on the core of the old world. So they kind of destroyed the world. Dracothian revived Sigmar and an everlasting... It says Ignex. I wonder what how Ignex plays into us. But they really like I know that the world like got taken over and everything by chaos, but they like cut it down to its core? It's kind of crazy. And we know the chaos gods are the same. So were they fighting mankind in multiple dimensions? Well, actually, we don't know if they're the exact same same. We know they they have the same names, which leads me to believe that they're the exact same same, which would mean, are they... I wonder if they fought... Huh, I don't know. This is interesting. Ensued. Dracothian took Sigmar and the core of that world, now named Malus, to the stars above Azir one of the eight mortal realms introduced to Sigmar by the Great Drake, and known so as eight the realms. Heavenly Realm. The eight regions can be thought of as eight of nine dimensions linked only by a series of great portals eight and realms. realm gates. Azir, Akwishi, Shish, Gir, Ugla, or Uga, Ugla, uh, Chaman, <laughs> Giran and Hish, I think. This is kind of um This is kind of Norse mythology like. The ninth realm being the realm of chaos. Oh After okay, okay. The eight realms 
so began the Age of Myth, a time of exploration where Sigmar met many new races of mortals. It wasn't long before Sigmar had re-established himself That's as pretty cool, a Iron. king, with many of these races coming to worship him. Sigmar in turn extended the hand of friendship to them, helping them to rid their lands of the creatures that terrorised them. It was during this time Sigmar also met with many other gods, such as Grimnir, one of the gods of the Duarden, who created the volcanic plains of the realms of fire, as he was Duarden. That's a cool way of saying dwarf. <laughs> slain, battling Volcatrix, mother of the Salamanders. He also met Alariel, guardian of the Radiant Woods and goddess of nature, who, like Sigmar, somehow made her way to one of the eight realms from the world that was. Interesting. Sigmar even befriended Nagash, god of death and darkness, and Gorkamorka, the savage god of the Oryx. Together, Both of those sound these cool. gods formed an alliance, which ultimately was destined to fall apart. Oh, that's As too bad. Sigmar, he built oh, it looks Sigmar, so cool. The greatest palace Sigmarian. to have ever existed. Malleus, Malleus, Malleus. Sigmarian. Is a floating palace? In space? I thought we were talking <laughs> fantasy, not, uh, not the war 40k. Overlooking Malice, the remains of the broken world. Ah. Atop his palace shines a radiant beacon of hope. The high star Segendil, and around Malice he would later build the Sigmarabulum, a ring of factories, forges, and armories. Below Sigmaron, directly at the heart of Azir. This almost makes me wonder if Sigmar. And the Emperor are related, because they kind of got same things going. Or like with space conquest, I guess. But they're... They seem very similar, except for so far Sigmar actually became a god. Emperor is not, even though that's part of his name, the god emperor. Um, or he hasn't become a god yet, I should say. So this is interesting. Lies Azaheim, the city of hope. Sigmar himself founded this great city, descending from Sigmaron to see it built, ultimately resulting in the city that fills all who see it with awe. Of all it's the beautiful great cities built during this age, this one alone still stands. Despite the wonders of oh. Sigmar's explorations of the realms, peace could not last, for chaos had turned its eyes to the realms. With immense power, Greater demons of chaos tore through the fabric of reality, ripping their way between the realm of chaos and the mortal realms. Archaon had returned with his new title, the Destroyer of Worlds, at the forefront of an invasion of an okay. incredible force. At first, Sigmar was able to hold. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm looking at the demons, right? And so, which one's Archaon? Because he's riding that three headed demon thing. Maybe it's four headed? No, three. And from what I can tell, we've got um we've got corn, zinch, and nurgle. So I wonder if Slanesh is not a thing right now, at this point. Back the tide of evil. But after uniting the rival factions of the Chaos Gods, and after Sigmar's alliance crumbled with Archaon successfully capturing the all points bridging the different realms, Sigmar started to lose ground. As Sigmar clashed with Archaon once more this is so sick. the mighty battle of the burning skies, the god king was separated from his warhammer and was forced to retreat to Azir and seal the realm gate behind him. Warhammer, Azir name of the series. Chaos. Try as they might, they could not breach the heavenly realm. The rest of the realms were less fortunate, being overrun by the forces of darkness, and so began the Age of Chaos. So Age of Myths, the Age of Chaos. From within Sigmaron, the God King could only watch in despair, as for hundreds of years, the inhabitants of the realm struggled helplessly against death and enslavement. Sigmar felt that he had lost again, that history had repeated itself. But one day, looking at Malice, 
he had a plan to retake the realms. He oh, built okay. an army. He expended great power, taking the strongest of warriors from the seven realms assailed by Chaos and transporting them to Azir. These warriors, along with those remaining in the Heavenly Realm after their retreat from the Battle of the Earth, Stars, there. would be reforged, unmade, infused with godly power, and rebuilt into mighty eternal warriors that will... Sounds a lot like Space Marines. Space Marines are custodians. More than mortal men. These warriors are like Space Marines. to Azir by their very spirits, and if slain in battle, would walk back to his forges to simply be reforged again. The finishing touch for Sigmar was to clad his new warriors in armor forged from Sigmarite, the molten metal okay. that formed the core of the world that was. For centuries, Sigmar bided his time. It's like the forges of the Sigmar Arbor. It's almost like the Ultramarines for coming from Ultmar. <laughs> the Ultmar system. Um, okay. So these guys look really cool. Are these the Stormcast? These are the Stormcast Eternals, right? Okay, so they can die and they just come back. Are they uncorruptible? working tirelessly to build his army. Eventually, when they were finally ready, Sigmar unleashed his new army, the Stormcast Eternals, ah. across the realms in an attempt to reclaim them from chaos. I'm a genius. His first aim was to retake the realm gates between the different realms, and so began the Realm Gate Wars. So that's basically all I'm gonna say for now. Like, I hope you guys- Okay, that's pretty sick. Um, we'll finish out the video, uh, see if he says anything interesting, or they say anything interesting I want to look at. But still, that's really sick. Like, the lore so far. And part of the reason I like looking at lore and stuff is because it gives me ideas for the own stuff, my own stuff. That I, like, I write for D&D, or I do for otherwise, for other stuff. Um, or an idea that I have cooking. For when I'm good at art. You can put two and two together. But. Or when I get proud of my art. Um, maybe not proud. But like. I think my art is good enough to start that project. Anyways. Let's finish the video. And then we'll end. I enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting together all of the storylines. Sounded like it. And I know it's like only a really really brief overview. And I want it to be like a little series. Where I can do like several parts of it. And obviously I'm only. Uh really really scratching the surface of these different events so of course uh, if you guys do want to see more of this just let me know down below and i will make follow-up parts to it i've as of making this video i have reached 400 subscribers ah right flashbang <laughs> well yes well at the time of me making this video you're at 15.6k so um, with that, I hope y'all enjoyed. Take this flashbang of a message that hurts my ass to look at. Um, and go check out Kotetsu. I think I will continue to watch some of his videos, or their videos. Um, watch him react. Oh, it seems like it's not just Kotetsu. Seems like it's a few groups. It's a few different ones. So we'll go through Katetsu's and then we'll go from there. Um, which seems really, because this seems really cool. Um, yeah. And with that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'd love to see you, hear your comments. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.